Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Animania. Today we're covering chickens! The first thing you should know is that, well, at dawn, chickens will, well, the, uh, the roosters at least, will uh, crow at the dawn. As, as you can hear, or near dawn, not necessarily at dawn uh, specifically. Boy, they are just getting everywhere. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, so I'm going to be showing you a, a whole bunch about chickens. Uh, so let's let's start off with the different types. We've got Orpingtons, we've got Rhode Islands Reds, we've got Leghorns, Wyandots, and Plymouths. Let me actually show you here. We've got Orpingtons. They're like the nice little mustardy colored ones. We've got the... Uh, uh, a Wyan dot mixed in here. Get, get out of here. We've got the, the Rhode Island Reds, but they're they're just very talkative today. We've got the uh, Plymouth Rock Hens. We've got the Leghorns. Uh, actually, here, let me go over here. Maybe we'll see one of the, the roosters. No, we don't have any of that. Oh, there he is. There's a rooster there. You can tell by the tail feathers more than anything if they have a similar look about their heads. Like, there's a hen, there's the rooster. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Wyan dots here, uh, as you can see. And of course, they've got little chicks every now and then uh, if they are mixed in. Uh, of course, uh, they breed differently. Uh, there are many things that you may need uh, in order to get these guys set up properly, but uh, they, they're easier and more difficult than other animals, <laughs> depending on how you do it. So first thing you're going to want to do is get a nest. Now, the recipe for a nest is just a stick, some wool, and some leaves, and you make yourself a nest which is what you'll need for them to start producing eggs and or chicks. Uh, now, if you have uh, just a single uh, like fence line, and this is uh, the case with uh, most uh, animals, you're going to want at least a couple uh, spaces between the different, uh, you know, male and female. If you don't want them, uh, actually, these are two males. Uh, whoops. Uh, male and female. If you don't want them uh, breeding, they're you know making more chicks and stuff instead you want them to do eggs you're going to want to make sure that they are separated by at least uh you know a few blocks because uh, that they just need to be near each other in order to do so so if you just have a hen and she's happy she will lay eggs which you can then harvest if there is a rooster in there uh, or near her then uh, the, the rooster will also uh, fertilize the eggs and will you know you'll, you'll make yourself some some baby chicks as you see here little cute little guys uh, now with that that's that's basically how to make eggs and chicks you know, you just put a nest down and you've got a male and a female. Simple enough, right? And if you have different types, you know, like you've got, uh, let's say, an Orpington and a Rhode Island Red, there's always a chance of, you know, producing a different uh, 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 different chick type uh, based on percentages of, you know, one or the other and so on. Uh, now, there are other things that you're going to want to new, want to do, and that is keep them happy. And in this case, seeds and water are usually the way to go. Seeds, you can place down on the ground. You can see there's an empty space here. You just right click, you place down some seeds. Now I'm in creative, so I'm not using up any seeds out of my inventory, but that's pretty much it. And you know, if, if you have like just a couple chickens, then you know, layering a bunch of seeds in an area, it, it's going to be very, it'll last you like all day, if not two days, you know, for a couple chicks. Uh, for a couple chickens, so it's it's no big deal. Uh, I do recommend that you give them a decent amount of space to spread out, because if you have them in too cramped of an area, they're really not going to be happy. Uh, but uh, you you can just put down like a nest. You don't have to have two. If there's only one hen, you're 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 fine with one. But if for some reason you know you're just wanting eggs, more nests. Uh, if you're going to be away for a while or something like that, but you have the area loaded, then you can always have uh, you know more nests so that the uh, the the um not the rooster the hen here, let's go over here so that the hen can actually lay eggs and therefore uh, not worry about uh, you know uh, overflowing one of them because you'll you'll fill like uh, one or two uh, there's there's an egg right there you'll fill one of these up with like maybe three or four uh, uh, eggs uh, as they fill up if they are not hatching. Uh, but in this case, there are roosters in every single one of these little uh, areas that I have, except for this last one here in the uh, the chicken coop that I made up. Now, uh, of course, uh, water. Uh, that's another thing. You're going to eat, probably put a trough down. Uh, you can do something like, uh, you know, put some water in a two-by-two two area or even just a single uh, uh 
water block in the area if you like but i think that they uh, they respond much better to having a trough of water now on the plus side unlike cows and pigs chickens will not actually consume water they will uh, just drink from it and it will stay full at all times so you don't need to worry about that in fact look i've got a water bucket these are roosters here i'm just going to right click you see that the water bucket is not being used whether i'm in creative or not this is the same now if i use seeds on them when not in creative it will consume the seeds you can hand feed them you can also toss them up in the in the uh, toss them out and they will eat uh, you know enjoy the seeds as well and that is how you befriend these guys so that they don't despawn uh, of course, you can always uh, use some of the Animania recipe uh, name tags as well. Boy, these guys are just really excited over here. They are crazy. Let, let's put down a little bit more uh, seed for them before they, they get a little too cr crazy, grumpy. Like, there we go. There we go. There you go, everybody. Be, be happy. Um, so, uh, now that you, you know how to feed them and take care of them, Let's take care of the benefits that they can give you. Uh, now, uh, of course, there is, you can eat them. Uh, I mean, they are chicken. Uh, they are chickens. And therefore, uh, when they become a little too populous, you can thin them out and, yeah, uh, reap the benefits of them. Now, e each one has different uh, stuff going on here. You know, you might get like a brown egg versus a regular egg, depending on the type of uh, chicken that it is. Uh, as And that's not really going to make much of a difference because if I have an Animania... Uh, egg. Let's grab this one here. Uh, and I try throwing it. Nothing happens. It's just not going to happen uh, because that's how it's set up in here. Now, if I have a Minecraft egg, uh, I try to throw it. Nothing happens as well. You can probably hear me clicking away. Uh, there's nothing really fantastic there. Just it, it's designed to uh, not create chicks and chickens in the uh, traditional sense of Minecraft, where you just throw eggs on the ground until one pops out a chicken. Now, this is a bit more traditional, as it should be. You know, they, they go in nests and eventually they will gestate into little chicks. Really good. Really good. Now, uh, you don't really need a carving knife for uh, the chicken. You just, you know, you get yourself raw chicken, you cook it up in your furnace, and you get yourself uh, your, your cooked chicken or, or roast chicken. And each one has different uh, stats. If you have a Rhode Island Red chicken, uh, it will give you a 60-second uh, boost of haste once eating it. And here's the good thing about a lot of the Animania foods is that you don't have to have a... Uh, uh, a hunger meter that is low at all, you can just eat them anyway and gain the benefits. So therefore you can use that to your advantage. Now this also only gives you uh, four hunger plus a whole lot of saturation. Uh, now if I move on over here to the Wyandotte, Wyandotte uh, hen or Wyandotte chickens, uh, these ones give you very little uh, for the uh, uh, hunger, but they give you a minute and a half of uh, haste. And I'm just using the uh, arrows to represent 10 seconds of haste per arrow. <laughs> because <laughs> you know that's what they do 10 seconds of pace but um and then uh moving up from there we've got the plymouth rock hens which will give you uh two minutes of haste uh, and they'll give you five uh hunger in order to you know saturate you um plus you've got your uh orpingtons which are really good they'll give you a good two and a half minutes of haste Plus, they give you six hunger. And, of course, all of them give you tons of saturation because, I mean, you're eating like a whole chicken. If you kill one of these chickens, uh, you may get more than one of the uh, the um, raw chickens that you get there. And also, uh, then, of course, you've got your leghorns, which are your equivalent to the vanilla style. And they will just drop regular Minecraft chicken, uh, which you can then cook, of course. Uh, but there are advantages to the leghorn. You might think, well, why would I want this one? The other ones give me different uh, hastes and stuff. Well, they 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 vary differently. Uh, I mean, obviously, the Orpington is really good for like just this uh, the the haste and the uh, the food. But the leghorn tends to uh, lay much faster than the other chickens do. So therefore, if you just want an egg laying uh, chicken, this is going to really be the one for you. If you want the uh, chicken for the uh, like the benefit of the meat then you're probably going to want the orpingtons uh and then the other ones are just really really pretty i mean you've got the great rhode island reds and and the plymouth rocks uh it, it's it's really nice and of course you've your wyan dots which are are lovely as well they they're all really nice um and they all sound different when they're crowing in the morning and stuff uh and the the chicks sound different but uh, there's there's still more. Now, if you take any of these eggs, now you'll notice that they, they, they all stack more or less or they don't. It doesn't matter. They all will produce the same thing. If you cook them in a furnace, 
you will get omelets. Now I'm going to take these omelets out. Actually, here, let me put this egg in there so you can see that, that one is going to produce the same exact thing as, as the, uh, the regular eggs. But I have omelets here. Now, if I get some other uh, ingredients, uh, let's do animania so that I can grab a few other things here. I'm going to grab some bacon. Uh, I'm going to grab some cheese. I'm going to grab uh, some truffles. And uh, let's see, I think there's one other item. Oh, yeah the omelet itself. Well, let's put the rest of the eggs in here. And you see that it is currently smelting up into just more omelets. Now, if I take this here, I can actually make, uh, like, with an omelet and a truffle, I can make a truffle omelet. So you can see plain omelet, truffle omelet. I'm going to grab one of those out of there. Uh, now, if I take a, a piece of cheese plus uh, one of these omelets, you get a cheese omelet. Uh, then some bacon, get a bacon omelet, which you see it was black bacon, now it's just bacon omelet. So it loses its identifier. It will accept any kind of bacon and turn it into a bacon omelet. Uh, and then, of course, there's going to be uh, the one that uh, combines all of those. So let me grab a little bit of this, grab another piece of that, another piece of that, and another piece of that. Uh, then we can just put all these together and make a super omelet. Now, here we go. Let's grab these. Now, if I go... If I go into my inventory, you'll see that I've got some other mods in here. Don't worry about these guys. They're, they're giving me jump boost and speed just so that I can get around easier and quicker. Uh, I also have this ability where I can like climb up walls. So just ignore that. That's nothing to do with Animania. That's another mod entirely. Uh, though it's made by the same creators, uh, Razzleberry and uh, Purplicious, which is inventory pets. But uh, just a brief uh, mention there. Now, I have, of course, uh, let's see, regular omelet. Uh, I've got a cheese omelet. We're going to do bacon omelet. Whoops, i just mixing these up. So, plain omelet. Let me actually switch my mode. Game mode zero, so that I'm in survival. Uh, of course, that's just my inventory pets eating things. Now, plain omelet. If I eat this, you can see I have just the, the standard here. I eat that, and, well, it, it was tasty. That That's pretty much it. I, I ate it and nothing happened. I, I retain, you know, I it basically filled up my hunger and saturation. That was great. Now if I eat the cheese omelet. All right. Nothing really fantastic there, but it was a little bit better for me, a little bit more saturating and stuff. You can see that each one has like different, a little bit different stats, not very much. Bacon omelet. I can eat that one. And oh, I gained strength for 30 seconds from a bacon omelet. That's great. Now if I eat a truffle omelet. I also gain regeneration 2 for 30 seconds. So that that's fantastic. Well, what happens if I eat a, a super omelet? That one gives me regeneration 2, resistance 2, and strength for 30 seconds. It is wonderful. Uh, it's, it's like the best power food right there. So this is a really good reason to want to produce uh, chickens. And as I was saying before, uh, in this case here, I have a, a hen house with no... Uh, no, uh, 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 of n no, 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 uh, no roosters in there. It's just for this, and I can actually uh, jump up here, access it from above if I want. But I, I can just grab eggs. I can then produce these, cook them in the furnace, turn them into omelets, mix those omelets with other ingredients from Animania, and make some wonderful, wonderful omelets, which are just absolutely fantastic. Some of the best foods you can get, uh, as well as you know because of the mostly because of the side effects they aren't as saturating as some of the other uh foods that you can get in uh animania but hey i i, I can't say i blame it because it, it it works itself out so that you don't want to just uh you know uh focus on one animal type this encourages you to spread out to to other ones uh and as before, you're only going to want to use water in troughs. Just a quick uh, FYI, you're, you're, you don't uh, want to put any other foods in there. It won't really accept any other foods for chickens. Um, they, they don't really like too much on there. But they do like, you know, seeds uh, spread around, uh, around, as you saw, water, and so on. So they're very simple to take care of. Uh, you just got to keep them happy. Make sure that you uh, harvest your eggs as you want so that you can make yourself your fantastic omelets. Nom, nom, nom. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, don't forget to spread this mischief on to others if you think they'll enjoy this content too. And until next time, folks, I'll say yeah. <laughs>